Welcome back to Daytime on Rogers TV at RogersTV.com. Tell me if you have lived through this scenario. It's a beautiful Saturday afternoon and you decide you're going to spend the day outside. You pull a weed or two or three or ten and two hours later you're limping around because you've just overdone it. Well, I'm sure we've all lived through that scenario. So we bring in Dr. Rod Overton from the Ontario Chiropractic Association, Adelaide Family Chiropractic at 1061 Adelaide Street North. Uh, Dr. Overton, that probably is, I don't think there's anybody who has not gone through that scenario. Yeah, that happens quite a bit. It's a, they're probably more likely sore the next day, but yeah. Yeah, absolutely. When, uh, you know, we've had a long, long winter. Uh, three weeks ago, there was snow on the ground. Um, and then all of a sudden we have these nice warm days and people are really antsy to get at their garden. So they go out and they do eight hours of gardening. And so the next day they're in pain and we're here to try to avoid that and give us some tips to avoid that. Well, and in fact, you've made things pretty sim simple with, uh, with an acronym, right? Take us through, there's a, is it STEM? Is that right? The that Stretching? There's basically there's there's steps you need to take to to go through. Oh yeah, right? there's there's a lot of different steps. The the first the most important thing to to do is to plan ahead. Think of all the stuff that you want to get done, and before you even start, actually a little warm up is a good idea. So walking for ten or fifteen minutes, um, actually warming up your muscles. It's great if you can imitate what you're going to be doing. So some squats even would be imitating what you're going to be doing if you're lifting. Um, lunges would be good to imitate kneeling. And then you want to stretch out your back uh, statically bending forward, stretch out the front of the legs and the back of the legs. Most people know how to do hamstrings and, mm -hmm. and quad stretches. The shoulders, some shoulder rolls, 15 forward, 15 backward, and stretching out the arms like this and like this is really helpful holding those all for about 30 seconds each and go through that nice routine. So now you're all warmed up and ready to do your gardening. So as I was saying, you plan ahead, then you can break it up into sections so that you're doing, you're alternating between heavy tasks and light tasks, um, alternating between positions like kneeling to plant stuff or lifting or digging or raking and just doing little 15 minute segments like that and, and switch it up. So don't finish the whole task and move on to the next thing you wanted to get done for about 15 minutes, then go back and do the other. The idea is we don't want to spend, you know, long periods of time doing the same repetitive action that's going to get us into trouble. Exactly. When you're, you know, squatting down, uh, doing something for long periods of time and your back's bent, you're very likely to hurt yourself. Uh, let's talk back to stretching for a second. I think when most of us stretch, we spend probably a lot of time stretching out our legs, a lot of time stretching out maybe our arms, but our whole core, I think, is where we're going to find most of the trouble. Like you said, when we're hunched over and bent over, are there ways to kind of to stretch out our neck, our back, or yeah. hips even? When you're gardening, the, the biggest thing to do is uh, you can do side bends where you're bending over like that to stretch it out, mm -hmm. holding that position and also bending forward and just in, in a seated position. Just bend forward, stay there for a while, maybe use your arms to come back up and that would stretch it out nicely. Are there positions we just do not want to put ourselves into? Yeah, there's, uh, you don't want to bend for prolonged periods. So if we're talking about gardening, it's much smarter to uh, kneel down if you're planting or weeding mm -hmm. for extended periods of time squatting uh, and bending at your waist uh, for a long period of time is kind of a recipe for disaster. So that's a really important thing. And you can buy little pads at the dollar store to kneel on or, or knee pads for $5 um, to make it a little more comfortable for you. Uh, was at the garden center this weekend and saw a lot of people. I think everybody was. <laughs> there were a lot of people uh, and there were a lot of people lifting uh, yes. bags of, uh, of, of seed, of fertilizer, of soil. That probably is, uh, is a, a recipe for danger as well, lifting. Yes. Um, a lot of these bags can be pretty heavy. And uh, so there's some rules that you want to follow with lifting. Uh, first of all, you want to get close to the load with your feet about shoulder width apart, facing straight at the load. Then bend down with your knees, keeping your back straight 
close to the load, then kind of test the load and make sure you're, you're um, aware of how heavy it is because a lot of people hurt themselves picking up something they think is going to be light and it turns out to be very heavy. Mm -hmm. um, and then raise up with your legs and keeping the back straight the whole time so you're not bending uh, your back. And the very important thing is not to twist your body while you're lifting right. because uh, that's when the injuries really happen, when you're under load and twisting your spine. Here's a great tip. They've got people at the uh, Garden Center. Get them to do it that's for true. you. That's, that's a great a idea. That's and they're probably 20 years younger. Exactly. <laughs> uh, LondonChiropractor.net, chiropractic.on.ca, or drop in at 1061 Adelaide Street North. We are back with more. Dr. Rod Overton, when daytime returns. Stick around. We'll be right back.